Hi everyone, welcome to today's uh, video. So in this video, we're going to show you how you can load your files into Power BI. So of course, Power BI will not work if you do not have any data to uh, use in your uh, dashboard or in your visuals. So I already have here files that we're going to connect okay, to our Power BI. So I'm going to use six uh, CSV files, okay? so um i will connect them and create a data model to show you okay, in this video so we'll start with of course with power bi and then once you are in power bi you have to go to home and then after you go to home you go to get data so under get data this is where you will see the different uh, data sources that you can connect in power bi so you have excel workbook you have a uh, server you have CSV files, you can connect uh, from the internet or whatever. So there's even more over here. And when you go to more, you will see that there are a lot of different possible uh, data sources in your um, Power BI. So for now, we're going to use uh, the CSV files. So I'll go to file and I'm going to select text or CSV. So of course you can use Excel or the other file types. So just make sure to select the right one. So I'm going to go with text CSV and then click connect. So your Power BI will then navigate your My Documents. And then from here, you have to look for the files that you will connect to your Power BI. So I have here the folder. So the first file i'll load it now so we have your customers and then click open so your power bi will then connect to this file and you just have to wait it's going to take some time depending on how large your file is and then you will get a preview of the file in power bi so you will see here that the file that i have is actually quite and let's say a neat file it's the columns are already properly named the data are all uniform and this is the best uh, data type that you will have in your power bi if your data is a bit messy or crazy or not uniform or inconsistent you may want to fix that first because though power bi can solve or can help clean up your data using power query it may be easier in some cases to just clean the data first before you even connect it in Power BI. So from here, I am going to load the file into Power BI. And Power BI will then sort of like work and it will bring in the file. You will see that there's this yellow warning over here and there's just a bit of a device. If the yellow warning is showing up in your Power BI like this, you see in the screen, try not to do anything in Power BI because it's doing something. So if you sort of like disturb it, the chances of uh, Power BI going, not responding or crashing is actually quite high. Eventually you will get the check mark that the loading is done. So you don't do anything until Power BI closes everything. And you will see now that it's currently loading. Okay, so I already have here my first uh, data in my Power BI. So to check, I could go here in table view and we could see that Power BI can also give us a preview of the file okay, that we have in Power in the report. So that's how you're going to load your files in Power BI. Take note, you can load other file types and connect them together. So I will um, upload the rest. So I'm just going to go back to home and then click get data or uh, the get data and then click the um, data source types. In this case, again, CSV. But take note, you can connect different file types into one Power BI file. So you could have an Excel file connecting, you could have uh, a Google Sheet file if you want. And if you are curious like how uh, to connect other file types in Power BI, I have separate videos for certain uh, file types. 
and I'll just put them the link to them in the description or in the comment section. Now take note that you will notice that other than the load button, you should see that there's the transform data over here. This will bring our data into Power Query. Power Query sort of like um, fixes or manages the data so that it, it's not raw when it goes to into your Power BI. I will create a separate video for that. So once I have it, I will uh, put the link again in the description okay, of this video. But for now, I would assume that everything in your files are already good. So this one, for example, only has two columns. So I could just click load and let Power BI bring in that very small table in our report. So it's again doing its thing. And take note that the speed of Power BI depends on two things. One, either your file is uh, too large or your file is, um, or your Power BI is slow. So you just have to consider those two options. Try to be patient when you're, when you have a lot of uh, rows in your Power BI. So right now I am loading all those files in my Power BI. So I will fast forward, okay? So that uh, once I resume the recording, all the files have been loaded in Power BI, okay? And now I've already connected all the six files. As you could see here on the right side, I already have each of the files loaded in my data uh, pane in Power BI. So you can explore these files uh, headings over here on the right side pane. Or if you want to view the files themselves, you just have to click the table view over here on the left side and that will show you what the data is inside those files. Now, one thing about your files is, of course, it's, it may use a file name that doesn't look nice in your Power BI report. So you can actually double click the names, as you could see here on the right side, and you can just rename it after that, after the double click. So just double click and rename the files. As you could see, Power BI is now loading okay, my new names in the database. And if you do this, take note, it doesn't change the file name of the uh, original files. It's just how Power BI displays the file names. It's actually quite good to rename because um, it can help when you're going to create your formulas later or it's going to be easier to recall which table you need to tap into when you connect your uh, Power BI um, data model uh, later on. So right now, I'm just naming the last three. Again, the speed of how Power BI, how quick Power BI will load will depend on the speed okay, of your computer or your laptop. Okay, so I now managed to rename all the six files. And now I'm going to connect this six files so that I could work on creating visuals. Take note that if you do not connect okay, this uh, files, then you will create incorrect visuals the moment that you create, you, get, you drag fields from um, separate um, tables or data sources to, to show you I'm going to start a bar chart and in this bar chart I'm going to get the names of the products coming from the products file that I have and then I will put it in the y-axis and then I want to find out how many of these uh, products have been sold so that means I have to go to sales and bring in the order quantity of my um, sales and you will see that I have this uh, report okay, already created. Now take note that it's working because Power BI um, sort of like figured out how the relationship or how these files are related. We can visit that over here. We can go to the model view 
and you will see that uh, in the model view how power bi connected okay the files together so it's actually quite smart that it knows okay the connection okay of the files i just want to check now if it did uh, the connections correctly so the sales table should be the child table it should be the one that contains the data and the rest of the files should be a master list file so i have my list of customers i have my list of product categories subcategories and then the list of products and then the list of uh, territories so power bi correctly created the hierarchy so from my categories here it went connected to subcategory or prod and then products and then from products it went to sales you will see this as the arrows okay in the relationship lines now sometimes power bi may made a mistake when you are connecting your uh, relationships so for example in the case of the customers going to the sales I should create a one-to-many relationship just like the other um, tables here. So I need to edit this relationship. So I would right-click on it and click Properties. And this will show us the properties of Power BI relationship that we just right-click. And sometimes um, Power BI sort of like says okay that a one-to-one -one relationship is possible but take note that we have to make it a one-to-many um, relationship okay so if this is a bit confusing because it, yes it can be confusing you can just start it okay so right click delete on the line the, the line that was incorrectly created by power bi so i right click delete and then i have this pop up i will delete the relationship and i would manually create the relationship by dragging fields okay from the master list files going to the matching field in the child table so in this case the customer key coming from the customer's master list should be matched with the customer key of that of the sales so i'm going to drag and release and you will see that power bi is again loading okay and it's sort of like forcing a one-to-one -to -one relationship and this tells me that every customer that i have in the customer list only had one purchase in the sales so in this case because that's actually not a good structure in data modeling though it's acceptable so i will force okay a, a many to one relationship so if it says here a one to one then i will make it a, a many to one relationship it you have to make sure that the customers is the one that sends the data to the sales okay and then i'm going to go single cross filter direction and then click okay the number one should stay on the customer side and the uh, many or the asterisk should go to the sales. And if ever, it's like what happened here, it's the other way around, well, you can just go to properties. And that means I have to switch. Oh yeah, I click many to one there. I should have clicked one to many, okay? At single direction, click okay. All right, there you go. And this is the desired, um relationship type okay the parent tables the master list are the one with the number one and the many or the asterisk is on the uh, child table now take note how the categories is the parent file of the subcategories which is also the parent file of the products file which then goes to the sales file so this is possible wherein you have to create a hierarchy between files now sometimes power bi fails to connect okay, a table like this the territories so you have to also connect this 
okay, let's bring in the sales territory key and drag it towards the territory key of your um, sales table. So I guess Power BI failed to figure out that those are two similar columns because the headers are not the same. Okay, the name of the headers are not the same, but no problem as long as you're sure that the headers can be connected. Okay, then we can connect that in Power BI. The header technically doesn't matter. So the sales territory key is my parent column. It contains the list of all territories, which are then used in the sales report. And now I've created the data model of my Power BI. Now, if, for example, you have too many files and you don't want Power BI to um, create the relationships, you, don't, you want to do it yourself because, for example, like what happened on the first one, the customers and sales, you have to delete and connect it correctly. You can disable the relationship part by first going to File and then go to Options and Settings. Then from there, we will go to Options and you will see that we will have several options okay, available and we should have when to data load and disable this one, the one that says auto detect new relationships. So if we uncheck this before we even uploaded the formulas, then Power BI will not do that auto connecting of tables. So that means you will have to connect the tables yourself. Okay, and personally, I disable this initially because in most cases, I want to be the one creating the relationships between my tables so that in case I need to fix something later, then I will know because I was the one who created it and not Power BI, sort of like using its AI and connecting the tables. So for now, I'll click OK. And from here, we can already create our... Our report. We already have our data model. We can then go to the report view and you can start creating your um, visuals, your dashboard. So just to show you, I am now going to create another visual. Okay, so I'll click on the page and then I have here another column chart and I'm going to bring in my list of countries, in the y-axis and the order quantity towards the x-axis. So I now managed to create a report. And take note that sales and territories are two separate files, but I managed to create a chart uh, with fields coming from separate files. And it's working properly thanks to the model view. The territories is now connected to sales. And that's it. Now we've already um, created our data model and created our first charts. If you want to learn more about Power BI, so I'll be creating a series on how you can um, uh, build more visuals okay, or charts in Power BI. But for now, if you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section. And if ever this video helped you, we would appreciate a like and subscribe in the channel. It really helps us a lot in um, creating more videos for you. For now, this is it, and I will see you in the next video.